Hi, today we're going to be doing another wig review of the John Renault wig called Miranda. It's brand new out of the box. I haven't even taken the tags off of her yet. If you'd like to learn more about this particular wig, all the specs, the color, etc., etc., stay tuned. Okay, we're talking Miranda today, and we are talking the color 12, FS12, which was one of my favorite colors. It's also called Malibu Blonde. It's one of the California Blonde collection. Now, really, we're here to talk about um, Miranda. I was uh, intrigued because Miranda is one of the few wigs by John Renault. Yeah, okay. <laughs> One of the few of them that is a mono part, so it's not a mono top or anything, it's a mono part with a lace front. Um, it's a lot less expensive than some of the other ones, so I thought I'd give it a try. I got one on sale. I liked it so much that I got two more. <laughs> it's a great everyday wig if you can get the <laughs> bangs out of your way. All right, let's talk some specs real quick on this one. I have to look down to see them. Okay, we've got, um, again, the color is 12FS12, Malibu Blonde. This is 100% hand-tied lace front, and let's take a look at that some. Now, I've got on a dark color um, with the shaded root, kind of, so hopefully you can see that real well. Okay, we this is in an average cap size. I have slightly larger than average. I'm like 22.5. This fits me great. Ear coverage, well, it's it's okay, it's not great. My ear tabs are up here, so my sideburns show, but my sideburns are white, so they blend in. <laughs> the front is 10.25 inches, yeah, you can tell that one. The crown, such as it is, is 12 and a half. The sides are 11 inches, and the nape is a 12 inch. Let's go ahead and take a 360. <laughs> okay, so Miranda can be a little frustrating at first getting it right out of the box unless you like the Veronica Lake. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit much for me, but with the other Mirandas I have, I have been able to tame it. So that's not quite so bad. Now it's not too bad, just you can see, you can see the coverage because there's my bio hair. Um, the coverage, <laughs> coverage. Um, it's not too terribly difficult to go ahead and get it off your face and then just spritz it a little bit with some hairspray and it'll pretty much stay. But I've had other ways that I've had with dealing with this. Okay, so we've got the lace front. Here is the lace part, which I haven't even probably parted yet. So let's see if we can get that. And remember with a mono part, you only have a, a little bit of an area that you can part in because it's, um, you'll see when I take the cap off, there's just a little part of the mono. Now the 12 FS12 is, you may think that it sounds familiar and it is because shaded praline, which is one of the most popular colors in blondes, is 12 FS8. Well, this is the same thing, but it has a lighter root which is something that I really, really ended up liking. All right, let's take a comb to her and see what happens to her. It's a fairly straight style, at least up, up top, and then there's a gentle wave or curl at the bottom. In this particular color, the nape is more of the 12 instead of the real um, highlighted part, which I think makes for something very interesting. Now shaded praline, the one I have in shaded praline is about the same. Um, I haven't really tried on the one that I have in blonde brownie yet, but um, I'm sure that that one is pretty much the same all the way through because it's not one of the real shaded colors. I don't know, might be, you can tell. So there's not a whole lot you have to do with this. It's almost shake and go, with the exception of the bangs. <laughs> Now that I have her brushed out a little bit, let's go ahead and do another 360. Now 
Yeah, the Veronica Lake style is uh, getting a little old with these bangs. I could always steam style them too, so that's not a big deal. All right, so let's take a look now at the interior of Miranda. Okay, here we go. This is Miranda in 12 FS8 shaded praline. And you can see that part of the way I handle those um, <laughs> long bangs is to cut short bangs in. So if you like shorter bangs, this is one way to do it. Let's talk about cap construction. We do have a mono part, which is nicely done. Let's see if we can see my fingers through it. There we go. We have a very nice lace front on it. It pretty much goes ear tab to ear tab. So that makes for a very, very nice lace front. We do have a little um, permatease up here and really I, I dislike permatease, but this one has so little permatease that it's almost like it doesn't have any, um, which is something that I'm crazy about. I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but this wig is five ounces. It doesn't feel like five ounces when it's on your head, but I think the five ounces is because there's enough um, hair here to avoid much permatease, which is awesome in my book. Okay, so we've covered permatease, we've covered mono part and lace front. The cap is open wefted on the back. It is fairly stretchy on the sides. Oops, there we go, stretchy on the sides. We have some closed felt ear tabs. We also have an extended nape with the Velcro adjusters. This is a nice stretchy cap, so this is, is great for something like this. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit the roots between these two. Again, 12 FS8, 12 FS12. How well you can see the difference, but you can tell that this one is a little more golden and it has less of a contrast on the roots while still having a little bit of a root. All right, so this is Miranda, and I hope this video has helped you to um, decide if Miranda is right for you. I think it's a wonderful wig, and since it's less expensive, since it's a mono part wig, and this is one of the few mono parts that um, John Renault makes, it's quite a bit less expensive than like the full mono or even the mono top. So that's why I got myself a few of these because, yeah, more wigs. <laughs> like I need more. Okay, so if you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you don't already subscribe. Meanwhile, this is Gail signing out saying have yourself a beautiful day. Bye!